thermal crafts like these are the rage these days with coffee makers because they keep the coffee hot but don't scorch the coffee after it's already been brewed so they don't negatively impact the flavor of your coffee. You may have noticed that if you've kept your coffee on a burner on a traditional coffee maker or at least an auto drip coffee maker you'll find that your coffee tends to sour or become more bitter after X amount of time. Usually it happens as soon as five minutes. Um, so that's the reason for these thermal carafes. They don't have a negative impact on the coffee's flavor. However, if you don't preheat the carafe, you may have noticed that it tends to cool and by it, I mean coffee tends to cool much more quickly. It doesn't stay hot as long in the craft. So I wanted to see just how much longer, or I should say, what the differences are between the temperature of a preheated craft versus one that hasn't been preheated. And what I'm going to use to preheat the craft is boiling water, which I have ready right next to it from that kettle. And... I'll just compare at different intervals. So I'll, I'll check immediately after the brew how hot the water is, and then I'll compare that to the non preheated craft just after brew. And I'll check over 30 minute intervals, one hour intervals, and two hour intervals. So it will be immediately after the brewing, comparing preheated to not preheated, 30 minutes preheated versus not preheated, one hour preheated versus not preheated, et cetera, et cetera. So we'll see just how big of a difference it does make, if at all. And I'm going to go ahead and get started and just preheat this crap here with some boiling water. So I'll see you on the other end post-brew. So just for your information, the craft has just off boil water in it, and I'm going to let it sit for 10 minutes before I run this Brazen Plus right here. And I'm gonna fill the reservoir up to the top. So this is gonna be for a full eight cups. So, just for your information. Okay, so I didn't actually use any coffee for this experiment. And as you can hear by the beep, the cycle just finished. So this is for the preheated version. So since it's just water, it won't be quite accurate. I didn't want to use a full cup of, uh, sorry, a full pot of coffee. The other thing is I'm going to have to undo the lid to get the t water temperature measurement. So just bear with me. I'll be quick. So I try not to let too much heat escape. Okay, so 187.2 is what we clocked in at. I'll be back in half an hour to show you what temperature I got. Okay, now let's take a look at the non preheated carafe, which was at room temperature before I started quote unquote brewing just with water. Now, of course, this isn't going to be a totally accurate representation of how hot the water or I should say the coffee will be, since I'm just using water here. But at least you'll see the difference in temperature when compared to a preheated carafe. So this is just post-brew. Okay. 182.3. I'll be back in half an hour. Okay, half an hour in. Let's check in on the temperature. One seventy nine point six. Okay, we are half an hour in.
172.8. Yikes. All right, so I didn't make it to the two hour mark, but I've got the four hour mark here, so this will be the last test. Let's see how hot the water came out, or stayed, I should say. All right, so still, still not cold. Not hot, but definitely warm, 146.1. So I'll compare this to the craft that isn't preheated, and I don't think it's going to be at 146 after four hours. I think it will be a lot lower. So stay tuned. Okay, four hour mark, final test. And a very interesting result. 150.8. So, obviously not consistent with what the theory was on preheating the craft. So, I'm going to compare all the other numbers, but right now, the craft that wasn't preheated somehow stayed at a higher temperature at the same amount of time and the preheated craft. So I guess you could conclude right now that it's probably not worth your time preheating a craft. All right, so here is a summary of the results. I actually screwed up a little bit and I'll get to that in a second. But you can see that there's about a five degree difference between a craft that's been preheated for 10 minutes with boiling water and one that hasn't been preheated. Now, this isn't entirely accurate as I've mentioned multiple times already because if we're just using water, then it's going to obviously be hotter than the actual coffee because the temperature is going to cool when that hot water comes in contact with the cooler ground coffee. So since this hot water is basically just coming into contact with the components of the coffee maker, it's going to be slightly hot, hot, uh, slightly hotter. Now I hope to actually use coffee in the near future and replicate this experiment somewhat so that I have not only immediately post brew 30 minutes and four hour mark, but I also want to get the one hour mark, which I said I would get and screwed up as well as the two hour mark, which I also screwed up on. But at least we can see the differences in the short term and the long term. One other slight caveat that turned out to have a big impact is that, to be honest, for the non preheated craft, I checked this at the three hour and 45 minute mark. So it wasn't exactly the four hour mark. And I know that was stupid of me to not just wait an extra 15 minutes. But because I had somewhere to be, I had to check it a little bit early. And so this final result should be taken with a grain of salt, I think. I don't know if that extra 15 minutes would have changed the temperature by, say, well, if we're going to be consistent here, I don't know if it would have changed it by 9 degrees. So say it goes down to 141, which would be consistent with the first two results. So 187 versus 182, 179 versus 172. So I'm not sure if that's the case, but my hunch is that it could be. And that's why I would just take this with a grain of salt. So I think overall preheating the carafe does have an effect. If we were going to translate it, I'd say that every five minutes gives you an initial two and a half degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know if my uh, physics are really up to par here, if that's accurate, but Given that 10 minutes of preheating a craft with boiling water added about 5 degrees Fahrenheit in comparison, um, I'm just going to say that 5 minutes would cut that in half. And I'm not sure what the exact half-life is, half is, but that's just the results I got. So I'll try this again, perhaps with coffee, more time intervals and also uh, consistent time intervals, so we won't have 
a four hour mark versus a three hour and 45 minute mark, for example. I'll also try varying the amount of time that it's preheated to see if that theory holds up. So we'll maybe try five minutes or 20 minutes and see how that affects things. Thanks for watching and please leave a comment, subscribe, share, whatever.